Today, it's me versus Barry, and I'm stepping up my game. We're revisiting one of our previous battles to celebrate the release of our brand new cookbook. It's called The Ultimate Cooking Battles, Normals Edition. And the theme of today's battle is seafood. Last time, Jamie messed up his rice and I served mine on a baking tray. Have we improved over the years? Let's find out. And to tie in with the theme of the book, we've decided to add a little bit of cosplay. We asked you guys what your favourite anti-heroes were, and you made this happen. I am the Batman. And I am Snape, and I have never felt more fabulous. You've gone very Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen, actually. <laughs> God, that's such a 90s reference. He's back, he's back on daytime he's television. Back. Come on. You ready to battle it out? In three, two, one, off you go. Hell's bells. <laughs> <laughs> it is ridiculous. As with all of our battles this year, there are also badges up for grabs. So let's have a look at the leaderboard as it stands. I am, I am recreating my poke bowl from the original seafood battle. There was nothing wrong with that recipe at all, apart from me. I was the one that screwed the recipe up, and therefore the badge that I'm going for this time is my seasoning badge. I need to get the flavours perfect. It's so simple, and it has to be perfect. Your outfit was better last time as well. My poke bowl starts with rice. I have to wash it, and then I have to cook it. No pressure, Jay, but that is where you went wrong last time. Yeah, twice. <laughs> yes. Is there a kitchen towel somewhere? No, that's my cape! <laughs> I mean, that's my cape. <laughs> so I'm going to be making calamari and chorizo mayo. Last time, I kind of cheated because all my, all my calamari was pre-prepped. This time I'm doing it all myself and that's why I'm also going for the squid badge. That, that exists, right? I think you've literally just made that up. Yeah. I was thinking, what can I possibly achieve right now? Well, I'm doing a squid recipe, so I'll do my squid badge. Since the last time we did this battle, I've learned how to prep a squid properly. And I want to use all of it and show you different techniques of how to prep squid. We did it for you last time, you just cut it into rings. So this time, prove you know what you're doing. So you've got to go through the whole process with the squid from... Whole process. So finding the freshest squid. Yep, Billings Gate, we were there earlier this morning. That's a massive lie, you sent me. Wow, so you've skipped the first part. First, first bit I outsourced. Right. <laughs> but the bit which involves preparation and cooking, that's all snake. So to start off with, my chorizo mayo, really simple. Chopping up some chorizo. I don't care if you can't see, this is the only way I can. In a pan with some oil, gonna get it crisping up and releasing all those delicious oils. Also, I know it's a bit soon, but I'm gonna prep my garnish, chilli and lime. Now, the last time we did this battle and I cooked this dish, I got the mickey taken out of me because the only bit of cooking that I did was the rice. But this time, I'm doing exactly the same again. And it starts with my wakami, or seaweed, which I need to rehydrate with boiling water, which in a way is cooking, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to cook the water. Yeah. Yep. To then rehydrate. Yeah. Pow! He's so focused yeah. on fancy dress that he's really not focused on what he should be focused on, the rice. Jamie, you know how with every new week that passes here at Sortage, we feel like we're reaching a new low? This might be the lowest of lows. Not only do we look like this, also we're here because... We both lost the mic. We both lost the mic. And also, we're cooking two losing dishes. Yeah. But one of you will end up in the final. Well, in that case, let's get serious. I need to do something like this. Do you want a hairband? Got one. Jamie's got a, a rubber band on his spring onions. <laughs> Chorizo nice and crispy, off the heat, to let it cool down. Shoot. Shoogling it. Shoogling it. Shoogling it around. It's what us rice masters call it. Don't know. <laughs> Just going to take this off because it's a bit hot. Right, let's prep some squid. I have got big squid and some little squid here. Um, I'm going to do a big one first because I think it's easy to demonstrate. We're watching carefully, Baz. You need to remove the head from, well, the really recognisable flesh on the outside. Finger in there. Drag your finger on the outside to 
kind of detach it, then pull it out gently and try not to break the ink. There you go. Then you want to cut underneath the eyes, but try and push what they call the beak up. And then you just have the tentacles. The tentacles are definitely the best bit. Now remove the shin pads or the quill. Um, and now you've got to try and remove the skin. The wings should just tear off in one piece. Next topping, avocado. Peel, de-stone, dice. So now that's dissected, we have the tentacles, we have the wings, and then we have the main piece of flesh. Now with this, I'm gonna do two things. Cut into calamari rings. And for other bits, you then cut this in half, open it up, wash out the insides, and then score the inside. So two basic badges up for grabs today. James is going for seasoning badge. So this is a dish that relies on a bulk of rice and then a selection of ingredients on top. What we want is when it's all mixed together for it to be perfectly seasoned. And that doesn't just mean salty. That means a balance of salt and acid, a slight sweetness. He's got things like mirin going on in the recipe, but also playing to some of the citrus and the spice. But so it's all in balance and not any one taking over. So Barry's going for his squid badge, and um, obviously we're looking for perfectly cooked squid. We don't want it to be rubbery, but also he's prepping the squid from scratch, which is really cool. And he sounds really knowledgeable already. So now I've done one, I've got to do a lot more. I'm doing mainly little ones as well, because they're officially calamari. That was a squid. Next up is my fish. I have a whole half side of a salmon, and I know how that sounds. And I have a beautiful looking tuna steak. I want to dice them into really great cubes. <laughs> oh no, I've just made a terrible realisation. Oh no. I've picked up my salmon and I can feel something skinny on the back of it. This could be your chance to get your uh, fish prep badge. My skinning badge. Like with all fish work, it just takes enough practice to know what it should feel like. And I don't think I do it often enough to remember what it feels like sometimes. It's coming out the back end <laughs> nice. Ebers, 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 stop that sentence. A little bit of flesh on the skin, but in the grand scheme of things. Time to crack on with my rice. It's had 15 minutes to steam by itself. I'm now going to add in some sesame seeds, some sesame oil, some salt. Hashtag seasoning. You absolutely don't have to dress up, but if you do want the recipes, then these two, as with all the recipes from our battle series, appear in our latest cookbook. And you can pre-order that now, a physical copy. Plus, there's a discount if you remember. So my oil's near temperature. I'm gonna season my squid on the tray here, and I'm gonna dust it in some flour and some smoked paprika. Oh, Barry's going for squid. What temperature are you going for? 190. Excellent. And it doesn't need long, so I'm doing a small batch. And now, look at that. Undercooked won't be very nice. Overcooked will be terrible. No pressure on these battles, but the normals have got to make them look excellent because they absolutely do in the book. But now those ones are a bit darker, Baz. Was that because the first were too pale or are these a little over? Sorry, there's no right answer there's to no that There's no right answer, no. <laughs> Splat. I need to squeeze some grapefruit juice and lime juice into a bowl and then mix it with my mirin and soy sauce to create my dressing. Now I already have one tablespoon of mirin weighed out. But seeing as I've potentially oversalted my rice, I might need some more. Oh! Batman checkers! <laughs> <laughs> Crispy bits there. Oh, I thought you were eyeing me. <laughs> no, really golden tentacles and legs and no arms or legs. What do they have? Oh, Ben, I don't know. Ten minutes left to plate up. Shazam! In the recipe we make the dressing and the fish mix separately for the poke bowl so that you can kind of add the dressing a little bit at a time, taste it, add a little bit more if you need to. Jamie tipped it all in and he's going after a seasoning badge. Now to mix my mayonnaise with my chorizo and it's oil. Bat soy. Final thing before plating. Cucumber. Oh! Last couple of minutes. Here's what's gonna happen. Rice into a bowl, topped with my fish mix, topped with some sambal, which is a delightful fermented chili sauce. And then, topped with my cucumber ribbons, garnish, winner badge. 
Last few moments to make it look good. Three, two, one. Battle over. Let's get him into the sexies. Judgment time, Barry's crispy squid dish for the seafood battle and a squid badge. Squid badge, you said it with a straight face. It does look great. I think it looks really good. I like the fact he's got different styles of the squid, the rings, the tentacles, and the curly kind of scraggly bits, and the color looks good. Lovely color on the mayo, and he prepped it all. Cheers. Cheers. If he was after the seasoning badge, no question. I think the um, chorizo goes so well with the, the squid as well. It's delicious. Well done, Barry. So, Jamie, poke your bowl. I think it looks great. And now I'm going to destroy it. There is always that with the poke, but that's kind of the point. That is the point, yeah. This is how you mix all those flavors. He was going for his seasoning badge. I think that still looks really good. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit worried for his rice in his methodology, but individual grains, nice and plump and well cooked. So it's bang on. That sauce packs a punch. Individually, I think each bit is skewed one way or other. When you mix it, they start to complement each other. Mm. I think it's got it all. And on top of that, the texture, not just from the seaweed, which has a very unusual texture, but also the crunch of the onion and the creaminess of the avocado. It's such a good dish. And if we're being really picky, what about with seasoning in mind? If I'm being like really, really, really picky, I'd like a little bit more acid, but I'm gonna forgive him for that because there is a lime on the plate. I could have seasoned myself with the lime um, and I'm getting plenty of salt and plenty of heat. That's a tough one. Puts us in a bit of a dilemma. I think they've both done a good job. And they both celebrate the sea. And I want to go back for more of both. The question is, do they both get a badge? And who goes through to the battle final? Boys, we enjoyed both dishes. Delicious. But I get the honour of handing out badges, perhaps. They're doing it like Sandy and Noel. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Barry, you were fighting for the squid badge and <laughs> given Don't laugh. your efforts a few years ago, yeah. we thought you made great improvement. We saw what difference using fresh squid is and preparing it yourself and it was cooked really well. Plus seasoned perfectly. Keep, keep them coming, Ben. So yes. I'm blushing. You more than deserve your squid badge. Pa pa pa! Just imagine if you'd gone to the market as well. <laughs> Bat badge. Your badge, however, is all about balance. It's all about salt, sour, and sweet. With a little bit of heat of chili, and sprinkle it all together. And we thought your dish had all of that, but not in balance until you mix it in, which is the idea of a poke bowl. And then it was pretty much spot on. So absolutely badge deserved, seasoning badge, awarded. I thought I, I, I thought that was they were, a... they were about to snatch it away from you yeah. in the last second. This week I've got the sad job of announcing the loser. <laughs> we, we honestly thought you both did a great job, which is why you've both got badges. They were both delicious dishes, but there was one that we both went back for more of after the camera's cut, and that was Barry's calamari. Barry is the battle winner. I'm not sure if he's happy about that or not. Does that mean I have to make chicken pie again? Yeah. Oh, no. Three battles down, there's a final still to come. You and Mike are in the final for a repeat of the ultimate chicken battle. No! <laughs> oh! I'm gutted that I lost, but to know that I don't have to wear another tight-fitting costume for a while <laughs> is quite a relief. Three battles down, 
Just the final face off to go. Who is your winner from today? Comment below. This is the last chance to guarantee a copy of the book or superhero bundle as we go to print on Monday the 26th of April. A big thanks to those of you who have already bought a copy and follow the link below if you'd like to check it out for one last time. There's nothing more tragic than a dad dressing up as Batman, is there? <laughs>